Our gospel for the seventh Sunday of Easter, the Ascension of the Lord, is taken from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Goodbyes are not easy. Airports, train stations, and bus depots can be painful places. Last-minute hugs and kisses, and then you let go. This is a familiar scene, and it should be. This is the essence of this final scene in Matthew's Gospel. Jesus' friends are standing in the terminal as he gives him his final instruction, essentially a pep talk and a command before he leaves. He sent them out to the world to make disciples and promised to be with them forever. We can only imagine the disciples' state of mind as they approach the mountain. But when they see Jesus, we know what happened. They worshipped, but they doubted. Now this doubt is not doctrinal doubt, but a wavering between trust in Jesus and their own weakness. Our own experience tells us that discipleship is not a continuous Mount Tabor-like experience, but a mixture of light and darkness, power and weakness, and hills and valleys. Although we may be tempted to criticize the disciples for their doubt, we probably wouldn't do any better. But Jesus understands their doubt, speaks to their faith, and calls them to carry on his work anyway. They will have to grow into the role that Jesus gives them, as we all do. A disciple can wrestle with doubt and still say, yes, I believe. Isn't that your experience? It surely has been mine. God has always chosen ordinary people like the disciples and us to carry out his extraordinary mission. To God, our ability is less important than our availability. We must remember that our mission is to make disciples. A disciple is a learner, a follower who is committed to a lifetime of spiritual formation at the hands of the master. A disciple is expected not only to learn, but to live in obedience to everything Jesus commanded. Baptism in the name of indicates a relationship, a rebirth, an adoption, if you will. It's symbolic of discipleship. It demands a whole new way of thinking, of being, a whole new way of living. One of my favorite quotes, variously attributed to D.T. Niles, goes like this. Evangelism is one beggar telling another beggar where he found bread. And that is our mission. Our commission from Jesus is to let others see our joy, hear our story, and to invite them to join us in a lifelong journey of becoming who God intends us to be. In summary, not only did Jesus command the eleven to go out to baptize and teach, he even invites us to follow him, to share his mission, to bear witness to him, and to make disciples, always keeping in mind that his promised abiding spiritual presence is available to us. As I prepared this reflection, a question kept coming to me. To whom is Jesus challenging me to tell my story of his love? In closing, I want to turn that around to you. I want you to pray about who is Jesus challenging you to tell the story of his love. God bless you. To God your hearts and voices raise In Lord and Jubilee and praise Alleluia